Michael Oakes was convicted in 2010 for the murder of Mark Stover, a well-known dog trainer whose clients included celebrities like Howard Schultz and Ichiro Suzuki. Oakes claimed he acted in self-defense, stating that Stover had shot at him first. However, the jury rejected this claim, noting that Oakes had gone to Stover's house wearing a bullet-resistant vest and carrying two handguns. Oakes was sentenced to 26 and a half years in prison and is currently serving his sentence at Washington State Penitentiary in Walla Walla. The following is a short story authored by Michael Oakes. Would it surprise you to know that slavery is still daily, legally practiced in the USA today? I'm not making this up or exaggerating. In many current prisons one is required to work or face punishment, and the pay prisoners receive is frequently a tiny fraction of minimum wage. But, you say, prisoners get everything they need free of charge, so they don't really need to be paid, right? Wrong. A prisoner in progressive Washington state used to get three substantial meals per day with coffee and juice, and even a salad bar, more than 20 years ago. Now prisoners get three terrible meals and all the tap water you can drink. Soap, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, medicine, coffee, and all the other normal items must be purchased at the prisoner's expense. And if one has no money at all the state will give you only the basics on credit, which you must repay. For the first decade of my incarceration, I was paid 42 cents per hour in my work as a class instructor, to a max of about $50 per month. For the last year or so our pay has been increased to about $1 per hour. With all the necessary items for life costing as much in here as they do out there, how many days must I work just to afford basic human hygiene? But beyond all that, one of the most shocking truths remains that the multi-billion dollar racket of prisons in Washington depends every day upon prisoner labor to even function. Without the forced labor of so many incarcerated people this whole scheme cannot operate. Thank you for listening to Michael Oak's powerful story. If you found this story thought-provoking and want to hear more like it, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest content and support our mission to bring important stories to light. Don't miss out, hit that subscribe button now and join our community of engaged listeners. Thank you.